Hi, Coach. Can you hear me okay? Uh, yes, see. Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Um, thanks so much for taking the time. You know, it's a busy day, so we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start with um, Alex Calabrese, Men in Red 97. Hey, Coach. How are you today? Good, Alex. You? How's everything? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, so my first question here is just another update on the status of Gutman for this weekend, obviously coming back home, and then for if there are any updates on his injury as well. Yeah, he's not going to be ready this weekend, Alex, unfortunately. He's still doing individual stuff out on the field running. Uh, he hasn't integrated at all up to this point with the team. Uh, so it, it's a short week, obviously, this this week, playing on Sunday. So I, I, I see it really difficult for him even to be available uh, because up, up to this point, even today, he has not even been involved in, uh, you know, he's been doing running with, with our uh, with our guys on the side and doing stuff with the ball, but still hasn't integrated at all uh, with the first team. And then on the topic of availability, do you have any updates on which Fire 2 players are going to be available for the Open Cup game this week? For first team players for Fire 2? Oh, for today, we have uh, uh, Wyatt. Uh, is going to play, so he's back. Uh, he had a little injury from uh, from the last outing, so we want to get him 45 minutes, uh, at least 45 minutes in this game. And 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 Javi Casas and Sergio Orijal will be available to play. All right, thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Next, we will go to Joe Chats from On Tap Sportsnet. Thanks, E. Thanks, Frank. How's it going today? Good, Joe. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, Frank, the team announced today that uh, Lawrence Wooten was signed to a deal and then loaned out to Indy 11. And I think everyone was impressed with uh, his performances in the preseason. Obviously, when a MLS draft pick comes in, a lot of us think MLS next pro. But uh, he's been loaned out. And I'm curious what you saw from him and uh, if there was some surprise maybe from the coaching staff, because it seemed like he did really well. Yeah, no, we followed him in college. Obviously, he's much older than... Uh, um... Some of the other younger guys that are coming out. So he was an experienced guy coming in. Uh, um, he, he did really well in, in preseason and uh, someone we liked. I think it's important that we can loan him out, try to, you know, uh, where he can get uh, really good minutes and we can we can track him. And uh, so um, he was just a guy that came in, it fit right in. Uh, experienced guy, worked really hard. He's good on the ball and uh, a good decision making, uh, uh, intelligent soccer player. So it's good that we're able to to uh, to be able to keep them. Obviously, with our space right now, nothing's available to be able to loan them out. We can get really quality minutes and good competition is important, and we can track them. Thank you, Frank. Yeah. Thank you. Now we'll go to Brian Sandalow from the Chicago Sun-Times. Hi, Frank. How are you now? Brian, what's up, buddy? How are you? Good. Good. You. Good and you. Thanks uh, for making some time this afternoon. Um, just Always. wondering uh, what you're seeing from Chris Mueller right now uh, Chris, and, and yeah. uh, what um, is the thought process behind his, uh, I guess, minimal playing time right now? No, it's just Chris. Chris is working extremely hard, man. He missed a whole season last year. So uh, he's he's it, it's not easy to kind of uh, get back into the rhythm of things. And he's he's a guy that, you know, he. <laughs> His patience, I mean, I think that's he's a competitive guy and really he, he he's not the most patient guy, which I think it's also an asset where he's been able to reach the level he has. But, you know, I think he's getting closer. He's getting sharper. I think the last game that he came in also, he looked much, much, much sharper than the, the opportunities a couple of weeks ago that he got. So, you know, I think that uh, he's he's very close to, to being a guy that now that can step in, whether to start or to, to come off the bench that can contribute minutes. It's taken a while, but you know it's not easy when you miss almost the whole season um, yeah, to find that 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 rhythm. He's looked good in training, but I think we you know the ability to get him minutes now. I think it's it's crucial where he can get his sharpness and timing in in in, in the game. Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Now we will go to Hernan Espinosa from La Fiera Deportiva. Hello, Frank. Thank you for taking some time for us. Um, Thank you, Anand. Turning the pa the page around about the result last weekend, uh, you have six games at home. Uh, the next ones. I, I wonder if, if you're gonna start uh, to maybe uh, get some points in in these six uh, games at home. 
what are your thoughts about this? Uh, you know, because you have the first uh, six games of the season, you have really tough opponents, and now you're going to have uh, some games at home. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, no, I think it's always good to be at home, uh, Hernan. Obviously, the start, you know, the the six out of the four games were on the road, but we still feel we should have gotten uh, or we should have gotten more than five points uh, at this point. Um, if you look at the games uh, that uh, and how we drop certain points, but you know, I think those are opportunities for us to learn and grow. I mean, the last game, obviously, from the six that we played, was one that it, it, I felt that we 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 got in good spots, but we we're not dangerous in the final third with the ball. You know, we were able to break lines and then go backwards instead of being aggressive. I, I don't, I didn't feel we were as sharp. But now there's an opportunity here in a short week. You know, from from uh, being on, on on the road and losing a game like that, we're 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 looking forward to this game Saturday uh, against a good team. We need to regroup quick, um, and and uh, I see the guys even from today. Uh, they're looking forward to this match and getting up on the field quick. And it's important out of the next you know five games for at home, and uh, it's 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 crucial for us to to get in a run and get points and get momentum and some confidence now with this whole matches. Alex, I see that your hand is back up. Yes, uh, I wanted to ask about Hugo. I want to know what kind of response you've seen from him as a striker who's not putting the ball in the back of the net every game. What kind of response have you seen from him as he's adjusting to life in MLS? I mean, he works hard. You see him in the games. I think that the last game that we didn't provide him with uh, with any quality service. So it's difficult for to judge him in a game like that. And, uh, you know, our game plan was to try to get... Uh, you know, two players are on him with Myron and, and, and Guti that would be closer to support him. And, you know, we got in good moments in the final third, 25, 30 yards away. But then, you know, we were, instead of being aggressive and, and, and you know, attack with pace and try to get quality service in, uh, things that we talked about, I think that we didn't do that. So, but in the six games, you see Hugo, he works extremely hard for the team. Uh, and I think in, in the final third, when we, we, we can get him service and get him in, in, in good spots, uh, he's gonna he's gonna finish, but he doesn't lack confidence, you know that's for sure. But he's always a guy that, uh, you know, when he doesn't score, he you know he does those little things that really are help the team uh, on both faces of the uh, with the ball and without the ball. I think it's he's been really positive, and it's just gonna get better and, and and grow. And he's still learning the league as a new player. I mean, it's 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 not easy. It takes some time to 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 adjust, but he's gonna get stronger and better and sharper. But we definitely need to to be able to to provide him with more service in, in, in dangerous spots. Thank you. Okay, last question, Brian Sandalow. Sure. Uh, Frank, uh, through six games, you guys, you know, one win, there's been some good performances, but in general, you know, one win out of six, not what you guys are looking for. How much do you need proof of concept to get, um, you know, to how much do you need proof of concept that what you are preaching is working and going to work? And how much do you need that by just getting wins? Well, the, yeah, I mean, I think wins are important. But the thing is, I mean, I, we look at the last game, so everybody kind of looks, you know, uh, at that game and us losing. It's not that we lost. I mean, I, I when you look at it overall I, as a whole, uh, you know, that our game plan for me going in, we had a good game plan. It's not like, you know, that that we we got stretched at times, but we we got in good spots. We just didn't have the ability now to to – to penetrate in that final third we have quality players and you know i think you know we we tactically we can do things from point a to point b but from point b to point c you know we have quality players and i think there are moments where they need to make difference there and be more aggressive and stuff like that so uh, if you take th this game away and you know because you know we lost with the score we did uh i think the other games i think we dropped points that we should have we should have never dropped and so I think though, up to that point, I think that the confidence of the group was very good. Now, this game happens. I, I, I felt for me that, you know, that uh, it's a short week. We need to re regroup quick. And uh, we need to really come out with some really good energy on Saturday and take advantage of this homestand and get that confidence and momentum back. And obviously the wins, the, listen, you, you, <laughs> you can uh, replicate anything. But, you know, when you get the three points, it just, you know, builds that confidence level within the group. But it's not like... You know, it's early in the season. We have a long way to go, and and I, and I think the guys, you know, we're looking forward to this home stand starting from Saturday to really get uh, get things going and get some momentum.
Thank you, coach. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. We'll be back shortly with Gaston Kimenez. Gastón, ¿cómo estás? ¿Me escuchas? Sí, te escucho clarito. Muy bien, muchas gracias por tomar el tiempo de hablar con nosotros hoy. Um, empecemos con Alex Calabresi de Men in Red 97. Hola Gastón, ¿cómo estás? Hola, buenas tardes. Uh, hola, uh, este es tu quinto año en Chicago. ¿Cómo va todo los sentimientos, el nivel, los partidos? ¿Dirías que es igual o diferente a los años anteriores? ¿Qué veo diferente? Sí. Bueno, sí, es, este es mi quinto año. Eh, diferente, bueno, eh, tenemos la, la base del año pasado. Tenemos, no se fue casi nadie del equipo, entonces tenemos una buena base, la buena idea. Llegaron chicos nuevos, pero se adaptaron muy rápido al equipo. Eh, así que bueno, estamos en búsqueda de, de, ese, de ese triunfo que, que nos dé eh, confianza para, para, para arrancar en el torneo. Eh, esa, esa es la realidad, así que vamos a ir en busca de, de esos tres puntos en casa contra Houston. Esperemos lograrlo, trataremos de, de, de hacer todo lo posible para, para obtenerlo. Gracias. De nada. Alex, do you want to ask the question in English and then I'll respond? Oh, yeah. So I asked, since it's your fifth year in Chicago, how's everything going in terms of the feelings, the level, everything? Do you think it's the same or different to the previous seasons? Yes, it's my fifth year in Chicago and about how things are going. Um, everything is going well. Um, most of the players, we have the same base of players from last year. So we have a really good foundation and new players came in but they adapted really really quickly to the rest of the team so now we're working together and we're really just in search of that victory that'll kind of push us past that will give us the confidence to keep moving forward and and have a good season and we're definitely going in search of those three points um at home against houston and we're going to do everything that possible in order to get that victory ahora seguimos con José Gudiño, de Conexión Deportiva. ¿Qué tal, Gastón? ¿Cómo estás? Hola, José. ¿Todo bien? ¿Usted? Qué bueno, todo bien. Gracias. Gastón, eh, después de seis jornadas, ¿no? Ya, ya lo mencionabas un poco, ¿no? Donde tal vez los resultados no sean uh, sido los esperados, ¿no? Eh, ¿Cómo calificas la actuación del equipo? Y en lo personal, ¿cómo te has sentido en este arranque de temporada? Bueno, después de seis fechas, eh, la verdad que los resultados no fueron buenos como también te puedo decir que eh, hemos perdido muchos puntos en los cuales merecimos mucho más. Eh, eso seguro. Está claro que en el fútbol no es de merecimiento, es de hacer goles y obtener los resultados. Pero eh, sacando el partido anterior, que fue un poco especial con una Atlanta, o sea, diferente a lo que veníamos haciendo, eh, creo que veníamos haciendo un buen trabajo eh, en cuanto a funcionamiento. Eh, no se nos daban mucho los resultados, pero creemos que, que es el camino a conseguir los lo buenos resultados. Y en cuanto a lo personal, eh, nada, eh, jugué cuatro partidos, creo. Eh, necesito, ah, estoy buscando mi mejor, mi mejor versión eh, en todo sentido. 
eh, dentro del campo y fuera del campo. Trataré de ayudar lo más que pueda, como siempre lo hice eh, a mis compañeros. Así que bueno, nada, eh, con la expectativa de, de hacerlo muchísimo mejor de lo que lo vengo haciendo. Gracias. De nada. Um, the question was, after six games where the results are not expected, how do you perceive the team's performance so far? And how are you feeling personally? Well, you did mention after six um, games already, the results haven't been the ones that we've been looking for. Um, they haven't been the best results. But another thing is that we've not only have the results not been great, but we've dropped games where we certainly deserved um, much more than that. That's the way football is. It's not to say that because you deserve it, you get the points, but that's the reality that we've been facing. And But really taking out the game against Atlanta, which was a little bit different, we really have been going into games doing things well, doing the right things. Um, and we are on our way to be able to build um, a good season if we keep doing the things the way that we have been doing. Um, and personally, uh, the, I'm still looking for that best version of myself, um, both on and off the field. I'm going out there um, and helping as much as I can, doing what I can at every moment with the expectation that I am, need to be doing more, and then I'm going to be doing more um, to help the team get to the level that it needs to be. Next, we'll go to Joe Chats. Thanks. Hola, Gaston. ¿Qué tal? Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, todo bien. Uh, lo siento para mi inglés. Uh, playing Houston this weekend, uh, expectations going against a very good squad uh, that last year when you guys played them in the Open Cup uh, didn't go your way. So just curious how you're feeling ahead of the weekend. Jugando contra Houston este fin de semana, um, ¿cuáles son tus expectativas? En el año pasado los enfrentaron en la Copa Abierta y el resultado no fue realmente lo que queríamos, pero ¿cuáles son tus expectativas? ¿Qué esperas este fin de semana? Bueno, eh, es un poco diferente eh, lo que fue el año pasado. Los momentos son diferentes, así que cada partido es diferente. Eh, esperemos hacer nuestro plan de juego. Eh, sobre todo jugando en casa, siendo agresivos, eh, obteniendo el balón y moviendo de, de un lado al otro, siendo protagonista, eh, es la idea y creemos en, en ese camino de que podemos conseguir un buen resultado, eh, pero como te digo, cada partido es diferente, cada momento es diferente, así que eh, esperemos hacerlo eh, bien. Gracias. No. It's a bit different to what it was last year. Um, the moments are different. The timing is different. Each game is different uh, from one game to the other. So for this game, um, we expect to follow our game plan to have the ball, to move it around from side to side, to be the protagonist and push forward in this game. So as I said, you know, each moment is different, each game is different, and we just are expecting to go out there and do things right. Thank you. Uh, we'll go, oh, Hernán Espinosa from La Fiera Deportiva. Tonga, muchas gracias por uh, tener tiempo para nosotros. No, uh, mi, uh, mi pregunta es una especie de tres preguntas a uh, el técnico decía que eh, eh, con los jugadores nuevos que llegaron todavía fa les falta acoplarse un poquito más eh, hace unas dos semanas atrás. Ah, mi pregunta para ti es eh, casi la misma. ¿Qué opinas de eh, eh, jugar junto a Fabián Herbert y de los nuevos jugadores? Eh, ¿Tú piensas que le falta un poquito más de acoplamiento con los nuevos eh, jugadores que han llegado? Eh, a ver, llevamos un poco tiempo de trabajo y poco tiempo, ellos llevan un poco tiempo en la liga, eso es, es una realidad. Eh, cada uno eh, lo toma diferente, les lleva más tiempo, algunos menos. Pero en cuanto a adaptación, 
total, obviamente 100% no lo es, es normal, eh, pero lo, lo han hecho muy bien para mí. Eh, yo siento que, que están bien adaptados, de hecho en el grupo eh, se han integrado muy bien, muy rápido, eh, así que eh, no creo que, no, no va a ser un problema eso, no es un problema eso en este momento, eh, creo que lo podemos hacer mucho mejor como equipo y ellos han venido a ayudarnos a nosotros que venimos desde de, de hace tiempo o del año pasado eh, pero están bien están bien y eh, confiamos mucho en ellos y ellos no, no, nos están ayudando a nosotros así que estamos tranquilos con eso Well, it has been, it has not been a lot of time to be able to work through everything together. Um, they don't have a whole lot of time here um, with us and, and they're also getting used to the league. They haven't played for a very long time in the league. So it is taking them some time. Everyone takes a different amount of time to adapt. Some people take longer, some people take less time. And really what I've seen is that they've been doing a great job. They've been doing things well. Um, they, the reality is that they're here to help us. Um, and even with the group, they've adapted really well within the team. Um, so now I know as a team together, we could do things much better. And they came in to help us um, to improve as a team and to help us move forward, the ones of us that have already been here for a while. And the reality is like they've done well with us. We trust them. They're doing a great job. They've been helping us. And um, we look forward to continuing to do that. Ya no hay más preguntas. Hasta. Does anyone have any other questions? Raise hand. Oh, Hernán, la última. Yes, uh, Gastón, eh, ¿cuál es tu opinión de jugar con, con Herbert y de su, eh, de eh, que él comparte la ayuda de la defensa también junto a ti? Hemos visto eh, jugar a tu lado en estos últimos eh, tres partidos o más. Con respecto a Fabi. Sí. Bueno, Fabi hace, hace mucho tiempo que jugamos juntos. Él tiene la particularidad de jugar en muchas posiciones. Eh, ha jugado a los míos, ha jugado enfrente mío, ha jugado como extremo. Eh, tenemos la suerte de tener un jugador como él que, que puede jugar en, en diferentes posiciones y lo hace muy bien. Eh, nada, para mí es un, es un placer jugar con él. Siempre, siempre es bueno tener jugadores comprometidos con el equipo. Eh, y que te den soluciones dentro del campo. Eh, la verdad que no puedo decir mucho más de lo, de lo que se ve eh, por televisión o, o, el, o el que va al estadio lo, lo puede ver y, e interpretar eso tranquilamente. Eh, yo solo puedo decir que, eh, que a nosotros nos ayuda un montón porque nos puede solucionar un montón de problemas. He asked about playing alongside Fabian Herbers. Um, with Fabi, it's been a long time that we've played together. Um, and he has the ability to play in so many different positions. He can play my position. He can play on the outside. He can play on the wing. Um, so really, we are really lucky to have a player like him who can play so many different positions and can play them all well. For me, it's a pleasure to play with him. Um, he's someone that can help the team in so many ways. And I really can't say a whole lot more than what people see when they watch him on TV or when they um, see him in the stadium. You can see what he does, the way he moves and how he helps us. So really, he helps us a ton and um, because he helps us solve a ton of different problems. Gaston, tenemos una más. Liz Jiménez de La Ley. Hola. Gaston, ¿cómo estás? Buenas Hola. tardes, Luis Jiménez de la Ley 107.9, gusto saludarte, eh, pues preguntarte, tú eres ya uno de los veteranos, digo, aunque estás joven, pero eres veterano ya de este plantel, y cómo vives este momento con este con este equipo, ahora al mando de, de Frank Oplas, ya iniciando esta temporada, esta semana 6 de la MLS, 
eh, a veces te toca estar en el once titular, hay veces que no, quizás tienes que apoyar desde fuera, pero ¿cómo es tu trabajo con estos, eh, con estos jóvenes, con este nuevo plantel? Tú que ya eres, este, digamos, un hombre de experiencia en esta institución, eh, pues hacerles saber lo importante que es poder ganar en casa y no dejar escapar puntos. Sí, claro, bueno, no, eso es lo más importante. Al final del día, eh, primero está el equipo, después, después lo individual, así que si me toca estar, eh, ayudar de dentro del campo y si no, ayudar de donde toque, eh, siempre apoyando al compañero y siempre pensando en el equipo, que, que es lo más importante. Eh, después, bueno, eh, eh, siempre tratando de, de, de dar el ejemplo en cuanto a a no hablar tanto, no soy de hablar mucho, pero trato de, de ser ejemplo con, con hechos. Eh, sí, de verdad que llevo tiempo acá y eh, trato de, de ayudar, en, como te dije antes, en lo que sea. Eh, ya sea para, eh, para ser ejemplo haciendo cosas eh, como dentro del campo a través de mi fútbol. Eh, pero siempre tirando para adelante, siempre pensando en el equipo y siempre pensando que eh, le vaya bien a Chicago Fire. Y es verdad que es muy importante hacerse fuerte de, de local. Eh, en la liga en sí, pero bueno, el club es, eh, también es algo eh, por historia que, que, que se tiene que hacer fuerte en casa. Así que bueno, eh, tra siempre tratando de, con respecto a tu pregunta, siempre tratando de de ayudar a, a los chicos. Gracias, Gastón. Suerte. No, de nada. You are now considered a veteran on this team. Like you're very young, but now you're you've been on the team for a really long time. How are you living in this moment under Frank Copas? How are you showing the, the players around you, the young players, the importance of winning, winning at home, not dropping those points? as a veteran who has been with the team for quite a, a long time now. Yeah, I, I think that that's the most important thing, as you said. Um, first is the team, and then after that is everything that might be personal or individual. So if I'm on the bench, or if I'm on the field, then I'm on the field and I give everything I have. And if I'm not there, then from wherever I am, I need to support and, and do what's best for the team, which is the most important. So on the field, I try to be an example with actions. I'm not so much a player that talks a lot, but I always try to be an example with my actions and help the team with whatever needs to be done, whether it's doing things on the field um, or whatever it is, it's always moving forward, pushing the team forward and trying to do what's best for the team as a whole. And as you said, the, the importance of winning at home, it is important, but more than, important, but more than that, it's having that mentality and, and moving forward. And for me, it's, it comes down to always trying, working hard and trying to do what's best for the team and help the young kids. Todo bien? Yeah. 